Hello, Ambassador Gemini, and welcome to Soul Horoscope's weekly update. I'm your host to the universe, Christopher Watecki. And this is my new Soul Horoscope that I am literally creating at my desktop, from my desktop to yours. That's the new SG Neptune direction for the viewers, by the viewers. So I'm on webcam, and I am broadcasting, and I'm a one-man band. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for your patience in the last two weeks as I've had to retool. This is so I can get things out on time. It's a lot of reasons, but I do appreciate. And while I was off the air, if you don't know, the Act 3 videos are available for immediate download at soulmart.me. This is for Geminis and Gemini Risings. Uh, you can download this deep uh, video that dives into the next two months and articulately, I do believe, explains Saturn in Libra, which is uber important. This is whether or not Gemini's dreams will come true. Very heavy stuff, right? It is now time to move forward. You'll hear me talk about it in the horoscopes. It is now time to move forward. But Act 3 will help you. It's the best thing I can do for you. And they're long, like 17, 20 minutes. So I hope you enjoy it. I do appreciate it. Well, we are working on love, the I love state of awareness since I began. Or when I went off the air, we were just entering the transit. Unfortunately, I'm back just in time as we wrap the transit. By love, we're talking about what we love. We're talking about Leo. And when we're talking about Geminis, what you love has to do with what seems to make sense. That's because Geminis connect love with intellect. That's why Geminis love to think. And really, you have to have a life that makes you enjoy being in your mind, which means your life has to be uh, things worth thinking about, which means that your thoughts have to be nice, which means your attitude has to be correct, which means you have to be in control of your mind in order to have love come into your life. And that's what this whole transit is about. Getting on top of your own attitude, even though you are the masters of intellect, in order to connect to your own uh, source energy, which is love. So on Monday when we start off, Jupiter rules a day, you are sunny and you are feeling valuable. The moon is in Cancer, putting emotional focus on your soul capital. In fact, actually, Monday is Love Fest Day, the most magical day to uh, feel love and to share love and tell everyone uh, that you love, that you love them. That's what we always say. But you may not be feeling the Love Fest Day just due to everything else going on with these planets. Let's first zoom in uh, to this little crop of planets in the center. Excuse me, I'm scrolling around. Whoopsie, I was more fluent in the last show. Here we go. All right, sorry about that. So uh, the moon in Cancer crossing Venus is why we call it Love Fest Day. It really has to do with our emotions, the moon, and Venus, our ability to accept and receive. So the universe is calling upon you to accept and receive uh, more self-confidence. In other words, that's not such a fun Love Fest Day. You may be having to struggle for your self-confidence or struggle for your value structure because the universe is trying to get you to open up to more. So this does have the ended or the end conclusion of feeling more confident, but the beginning of the day might not be so fun. The other part is Saturn. See, Mars has finally come up to Saturn. This means it is now time to face that core issue that I was talking about in the Act 3 videos. That issue is to act on and move forward on your personal dreams. And so Geminis now must step forward with what their heart wants, step out of what their heart doesn't want. Any situation in your life that is based on false heart intention is going to fall apart for a while. This is the universe giving you a blessing in disguise. So if a love affair falls apart, if a creative project falls apart, anything you thought was what your heart wanted, take another look. Did it really? Was it really everything your heart desired? And this also may be a lot of temper tantrums and bursts of rage if your inner child doesn't get what he or she wants. So once again, not such a fun love fest day, but you can kind of see the theme of everything. And overall, with Jupiter ruling the day, uh, it is a day of exploring or keeping your mind open to other possibilities. That is cl uh, clearly what it is. Then on Tuesday, we have Uranus ruling the day. That means possible breakdown. The breakdown might be in a communication or an email or uh, some sort of exchange of intellect. That's because the breakdown does deal with your attitude or how your emotions might trigger an attitude problem. Okay. Now remember, emotions are still focused on soul capital. So 
your breakdown may be triggered by money or a self-confidence issue, but remember in the background, it's really about uh, your mind and the attitude and the emotional attitude response you give to a situation or a challenge. So pay attention to that. The other thing that's adding a little haywire is this opposition between Pluto up in Capricorn and Venus down in Cancer. This opposition is also part of the tension. Venus is saying, hey, it's time to open up to new self-esteem and new value and new monetary gain. The only problem is you may have to reconsider what you used to be comfortable with. Once again, the Geminis that are willing to get into the pool and change what they used to be comfortable with are going to see the greatest gain on the Venus side. Those who don't will see breakdown. And because we're dealing with Pluto, be careful. Okay, You don't want to go too far in any way, shape, or form. On Wednesday, it's breakthrough day and you're feeling a whole heck of a lot better. That's because Mercury is ruling the day. That's your home planet. And so you'll have an opportunity to really get your mind around uh, what we're dealing with this week. Now, the planets themselves are actually shifting into more of a quiet zone. That's because the moon is moving into Leo. So intellect and emotions are coming together. And this is the, the countdown to light cast day, which will be on Friday, the new moon. So we're starting to feel that. The first thing that's going to happen with this slide is Mercury. Ah, this hand. Mercury right here. The moon will cross over Mercury. And when the moon crosses Mercury, we're going to have an intellectual clarity on what it is we need to let go of. So see the Mercury, your home planet here, and the sun up here? Basically, as the moon crosses through this leading up to light cast uh, day or the new moon, you are releasing the old and embracing the new. That is the pendulum swing and your emotions are the vehicle in which you release the old and embrace the new. Mercury is focused on the old and the sun of course is focused on what you're loving in the present. All this of course plays out in your mind because that's what we're talking about on this particular uh, light cast uh, holiday. Now on Thursday, it's actually a Venus rule day. So what we wanted to have uh, as far as Monday's love feelings, we probably get them on Thursday instead. It is time to maintain an intellectual emotional balance in yourself. You've got to find your own peaceful mind. And your peaceful mind must not be uh, irritated uh, by your emotions. That's part of it as well. All right. So what we're really looking at is these upper planets again. The moon is continuing with its journey of releasing the old and embracing the new. And if you have any problems finding mental stability or mental peace, what you want to do, Gemini, is respond differently. Respond a way you haven't responded. Respond emotionally a way you haven't responded. That is where you find the peace according to the planets. Then comes Friday. On Friday, we've got a cloudy day and we've got Light Cast Day, the most powerful day of the month to manifest our intentions. What we focus on on this day has greater gravity and effect, we find statistically, for those of us who study the planets all the time. It's known as the new moon, goes all the way back into pagan ceremony. Now today, Neptune rules the day, so we're all pretty cloudy and spaced out on the one hand. So it's time to surrender to your higher sensibilities and not let allow to not allow your uh, intentions to form into any specific words. Keep them in the pre-word stage, if you know what I'm talking about. I know you do. Uh, but what a new moon comes down to is the moon and sun conjuncting. Sun is I love, the moon is I feel. So you're feeling it and you're loving it. And what you're feeling and loving is the new attitude, the one that you want to stay and keep in mind the entire time. So uh, on light cast day, you want to fill your heart with love. You want to fill your mind with the right attitude. You want to feel that this is the right attitude and you want to hold that space as long as you can. Now I do have a little present. <laughs> For those, oops, that went by too fast. For those watched over by GA, uh, I am going to be get, putting out a free video uh, on on Friday, so you'll get a text, you'll get a link, and you'll get a password. This will be one that'll help you through light casting your own reality, and it will be available on SoulMart for others who want to purchase it at other times. Just my little thank you for being a part of GA. On Saturday, it is decide it is deciding time. So you're going to kind of retire, go back to home and family on Saturday, a little bit of a, a family kind of retreat. The moon shifts into Virgo, pulling your emotions into their own needs. So it's time to lick your wounds and face your emotions and do what you need to do. It's sunny nesting and resting is the way we put it uh, in the garden. And we are blessed with an interesting trine that kind of perpetuates your growth in a positive way. It is the trine between Uranus and Mercury. Remember, Mercury is at the bottom half of your mind. So Mercury is letting go of the old thinking, the old attitude, the old mind games. As you do, Uranus and Aries says you immediately see new opportunity in the world, new social belonging, new place to be. 
all right? So by letting go of the old mind games, you see new friends, new opportunities. So if you've been obsessed with your place in the world, start thinking differently or stop thinking the old way is what the planets are saying. Now, Jupiter is also saying that by doing all this work this weekend, there will be breakthrough, all right? Breakthrough in what? Your strength, your charisma, your potential. So uh, what this all comes down to is what holds back Geminis? Well, their minds do and their minds' attitudes do. So by really breaking through and doing all this love casting work I'm talking about, it looks like you will have a big strength jump forward between Monday and Thursday. That also means good fortune, good opportunity, etc. Then on Sunday, Mars rules a day. That might be an anxious mind if you're not careful. It's time to ground yourself. The moon in Virgo pulls you into home, family, and foundation. But as far as attitude is concerned, it is time to put the right attitude into play. All right? So you want to act on what you say. Walk your talk right? The moon in Virgo means you're kind of nesting and resting, maybe with family or whatever, but wherever you are, implement the new attitude, walk your talk, do not let yourself go into the old Mercury ways, only stay in the action of uh, the new thinking, and if you need to have a specific conversation or speak up or say, hey universe, uh, I want to volunteer for something, well, speak up on Sunday. That's when Mars is ruling the day. We must put in action what we want to manifest. That's one of the things I teach. All right, Ambassador Gemini, that's all I have for this seven-day forecast. Thank you so much for logging in. Thanks once again for your patience while I retooled the show. I, am be I will be back on time next Monday, and until then, well, live, love, be.